G'day, um, Chrissy here again. It's not often that I haven't lit my oils in a while. I do have a selection of oils, and it's been quite a long while since I've lit them a blend that's designed to clear negative and horrible energy out. Um, I've just been doing look at the Epstein situation and who else has caught the blast radius, and I just felt so crappy by the end of it. I've opened up the back door. It's winter here in Australia, so while we in Perth we don't get like sub zero temperatures, it is quite cool. I've got a little heater on my feet, and um, I've opened up the back door to let some fresh air into the place and some positive energy from darling little Whitby, our little doggy, and I've lit, and lit a oil blend designed to cleanse bad stuff. Um, yeah, that, that reading just, oh, especially the last bit, I just don't know why, it's just, well, you'll see, that when I was shuffling cards to, to clear the deck, a, a card flew out, and you'll, you'll see. Anyway, um, so I thought I wanted to do a lighter reading <laughs> on someone who light and... I said, who can I do a reading on that will lift the energy? Lift me. I, I was feeling quite depressed at the end of that. Who, who can I do a reading on that will lift the energy, lift me? Um, who's someone good to read on? And Tulsi Gabbard popped into my head. Um, she is, as you're probably aware, Democratic... Um, has put a hat in the ring for the Democratic nomination next year. Uh, she's 38 years old. She's the representative from the se second district of Hawaii. I don't really know much more about her than that. But I clicked on her picture on the screen behind and, and had a look at her because sometimes I will do that because I haven't seen much of her, I tend to, when watching clips and all that about people, I tend to take a lot of notice of, subconscious notice of body language and movement and facial expressions. And I clicked on her picture and looked at and I just got really, really good vibes. So I'm going to have a look at her race for the Democratic nomination for president. Um, and see what what comes out. So, of course, she gets the Vanessa deck. I'm just going to close that door, uh, having let some fresh air in, because there's some neighbours talking loudly next door. So, okay, Tulsi Gabbard and her run for presidency. Do a Celtic cross here. Right, let's do. And I will use the same clarified cards as I used before. Um, because I, I use those cards with these ones as clarifiers. Let's see. Do you know she's a Taurus, so she's an earth sign? Let's have a look at the bottom of the deck. The universe, this woman has the world in front of her. She's completing one journey and a new one is opening up for her. Tulsi Gabbard. Seven of Swords. She is sneaky, but I don't think this is in a bad way. Yes, this shows a thief and all that, but I don't think it's saying she's a thief. The other meaning for this card is strategy. She is a very, very good strategist. I'm just swapping over glasses here. Um, I think she's good at playing the game, even though it might not seem at the moment. But she has been in the House of Reps since 2013. That's six years. So since she was like 32. So she, she learned how to play the game and she's, she can be very good at it. Her challenge, Eight of Coins. I think 
a lot of people think she still needs to learn more. And, um, yeah, so she's still a bit of an apprentice. She doesn't know everything she needs to know yet. That can be such bulldust. I'm sorry, but it can be, it, it, it can be such bulldust. I'm sorry, I just got my, because I like to use different spreads. It's like some I've memorised, but it does it cost us 10 cards. <laughs> so number three I was like, oh, is this one and this one so the one I use at any rate most of the time so I think the challenge she has is that a lot of people see her as not having yet paid her dues and done her work to get to that position I think that's what her challenge is there the basis of this reading for her the king of wands um, wants action, fiery. She is a person of action and she's fiery and she's passionate. Um, and I can't remember if she's one of the ones who's come out, came out early and called for Trump, uh, Trump's impeachment. Um, but she is, she is an action based person. She'd rather do it as opposed to explaining it, you know? No, having, rather than saying what she wants to do, she'd rather do it, rather than explaining to you what she wants to do. She just wants to get ahead and do it. The past with her, the magician, she has all the skills she needs to continue in political life and she has used those in the past to get where she is um, so I don't know why that's in the past I, well, I think she's used them well she's gotten to where she is in the past and she has used all the skills available to her to do so once you have those skills they don't necessarily go away um, in normal circumstances. The present for her, the seven of coins, she is assessing things. Have I done enough here? Um, do I keep going? Uh, Eric Solwell, as you've probably heard, has withdrawn from the race. Um, I think she's at the point, I think a lot of them at this stage are at the point of looking at whether she should keep going or or leave at this moment. So I think she's, she's looking at that. I think there's another round of, of debates coming up in the near future, not too distant future. Her near future. Yeah, it's the death card, but it means... Oh, it means the end of one thing and this could be that she's assessing and this could be that she's going to decide to withdraw from the presidential race. Um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It could, if she withdraws from that race, it could leave her open to, say, VP. Or... And of course, it could leave her open to cabinet positions. It would not surprise me if a lot of the people who are on the stage now end up in the cabinet in the next year or two. Um, so yeah, I think maybe she's contemplating calling it quick. Edit my husband's voice out. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, okay, so she's maybe in the near future she's going to withdraw from the race what's her strength temperance she's patient she's good at finding a balance with things and she's fair a good strength to have when you're in a political position how do others see her Others see her as being one to just cut through all the crap and tell the blunt truth. I don't know. I, I really haven't watched many videos of her or anything, but I think that's how others see her. Well, 
What are her hopes and fears? The Queen of Wands. This is Nancy. I think she hopes that she has Nancy's support in the end, whatever she does, but she fears that she doesn't. Um, I will get a clarifier on that. This is Nancy Pelosi. And I think also she maybe hopes to be able to aspire to the position such as Nancy has, but maybe fears that she's not up to it. Um, hmm, interesting. And her final outcome, the hermit. She's going to withdraw for a little while. Um, withdraw and do some more learning, I think. I think maybe if she does withdraw from the race, it's because she feels she's not quite ready to, to do that. She's got a bit more learning to do, and I think she might withdraw to do that. Have a look, a couple of clarifiers. We'll do a clarifier on the near future card, the death card, the possibly calling it quits on the presidential run. But first, we'll have a look at Queen of Wands is on the bottom again. I think she's um, seeking Nancy's counsel. Let's have a look. Is she going to withdraw from the race? Page of Pentacles is a yes, I think. Hey, yes. She's going to withdraw from the race. Uh, and I think part of the reason she's going to withdraw from the race is that this time she feels she can has something to offer elsewhere. Um, about this, sorry, hopes and fears with Nancy. Uh, something to do with the way she thinks people perceive her. I think she's worried that they might perceive her as another Nancy Pelosi type person. I think she'd love to be perceived as having her strength, but uh, maybe fears that being perceived as <sighs> ruthless and bit of a ball buster which I personally don't think Nancy, Nancy Pelosi is I think she is a strong woman who is vital to the future of your country at this moment but I am well aware that she has a lot of detractors and let's have a look at the outcome is she going to withdraw I've got pulled two cards for the outcome one is the page of swords I think she's going to get some news which might lead to that. And the other is the devil. This could be a few personal problems that she might have to deal with. And... Yeah. I now have a scratch on my face from the cat. Okay. Um, yeah, so... I think the reason she withdraws is not because I think there's a few reasons for that and um, I think she's going to go home, back home to Hawaii, deal with some things, she might have some news and she's going to go home and deal with it. Anyway, look, I'm going to sign off there having a, a scratch on my face, an impatient cat and a husband who has reminded me I do have an appointment to get to. So I will talk to you all later. Thank you very much and ciao for now.